Welcome to the Moon. Well, almost. Welcome to the Moon is a flip and ride game with 8 adventures which can be played independently or successively in a campaign mode. Welcome to the Moon has standard rules that apply to all the adventures and also specific rules for each of them. Let's start with the standard rules. Shuffle the Starship cards and split them into three draw piles of 21 cards, number face up. Each player takes an adventure sheet and a dry erase marker. For the missions, follow the campaign book or else, if you don't play in a campaign, take the mission cards A, B and C of that particular adventure. Each turn is made up of five phases. One. Flip three Starship cards. At the beginning of each turn, the top card of each draw pile is flipped and placed in front of its pile, action face up. You get three new number action combination. When the draw piles are empty, shuffle the discard piles separately in order to create three new draw piles. 2. Pick and write down a number. Every player picks simultaneously and individually one of the three available combinations, which can be the same as another player or not. You must write down the number of the combination you picked in an empty space of the marking area of your adventure sheet. The spaces are grouped into different zones depending on the adventure you are playing. In each zone, the numbers must be placed in ascending order from the lowest number to the highest number. A number can never appear twice in the same zone. In a zone, you can leave as many empty spaces as you wish between two numbered spaces, then fill them later on as long as you keep respecting the ascending order. Likewise, you can skip some numbers, for instance, put an 8 just after a 6. If you can write down a number, you must do it. If not, then you must cross off one system error box and you cannot perform any action this turn. 3. Use the action. Once your number is written down, you can, but you don't have to, use the action of the combination. You will perform the same 6 actions in all adventures, but in different ways depending on the adventure you're playing. Here is the general description for each action. The robot action allows you to connect, build or explore different parts. The water and plant actions allow you to collect resources and earn points, but only if you write the number in specific spaces. Energy action allows you to improve other actions or their value. The astronaut action allows you to modify the value of the number of the chosen combination before you write it down by adding or subtracting 0, 1 or 2. The planning action allows you to fill in an additional space with an X on the same turn beside the space in which you have written down the number of your combination. The spaces filled up with an X are also considered numbered spaces. 4. Incidents After performing an action, there could possibly be an incident phase. The effects or consequences that can be triggered during the different adventures are resolved at this moment. Accomplish a mission. The three mission cards are objectives that have been given to you by the Human Alliance. The first players to fulfill during the same turn the requirements of the mission can accomplish it. They write the highest value of the mission card in the corresponding A, B or C space on their sheet. Then the mission card is flipped on the mission accomplished side. From now on, those who accomplish a mission in a future turn will only get its lowest value. You can only accomplish each of the three missions once during the game. When you have accomplished a mission, you keep the points you earned, even if you do not meet the requirements anymore later on. Apart from specific endgame conditions specified in the adventure rules, the game ends if one of the players has accomplished all three missions or crossed off all the system error boxes or filled in all the spaces of the marking area. If you wish to play in a campaign mode and you do not want to have the story spoiled, stop this video and go back to it when the campaign will tell you to. A 
Adventure 6. The Virus. We do not really know how it happened. Maybe it was a water. Or the experiments grafting the earthly plants grown in microgravity with the extraterrestrial plants. Whatever it was, several viruses have appeared. You are in charge of a housing unit. Quarantine the quarters if necessary to slow down the epidemic and evacuate as many people as possible. The sheet shows 11 housing units distributed on 5 floors. The scoring area is below. Before starting the game, select a quarter with an empty virus target. Draw a virus in this target and circle it to signal that this virus is active. Each player can choose a different quarter for that virus. This is the grey virus and it immediately spreads. In this quarter, infect one housing space of your choice by crossing it off. You are in charge of a housing unit composed of five floors. Each floor is an independent zone with housing spaces that you must number in ascending order from left to right. Each floor is divided into two or three quarters of five housing spaces and these quarters are connected to one another by walkways. Some housing spaces will be infected, crossed off during the game. They will not matter for the ascending order of your number. System Errors when you cross off the second and third system error box, you trigger a propagation of all active viruses only on your sheet. Energy Action Circle one energy in the quarter where you have written down the number of your combination. Robot Action With this action, you can quarantine quarters to slow down the propagation of the viruses. Close one walkway of your choice wherever on your sheet with a line that would close the walkway. This way, the two quarters that were connected with this walkway are no longer connected. This will prevent the propagation of the viruses from one quarter to another. Closing a walkway that connects two quarters of the same floor does not divide the zone and you must still number the whole floor in ascending order. Plant and Water Action Plant Circle a plant in the quarter where you have written down the number of your number plant combination. Then cross off a plant symbol in the scoring area. Water. Circle the water tank if you have written down the number of your number water combination in the housing space with a water tank. Then cross off a water symbol in the scoring area. In the scoring area, you must cross off the plant and water symbols from left to right and from top to bottom, starting from the top line. Whenever you cross off the last symbol of a line of the scoring area, cross off the scoring box at the end of this line, as well as the robot or energy symbol that you must use immediately. With the robot, close the walkway. With the energy, circle one energy in any quarter of your choice, except in a complete quarter, in other words, a quarter with all its housing spaces numbered or crossed off. Whenever you cross off a symbol, plant or water, with a virus activation symbol, everyone must immediately activate it on their sheet by circling the corresponding virus target. Everyone must also cross off the same activation symbol on their sheet because each virus can only be activated once. Whenever a virus is activated, a propagation of all active viruses must be triggered for every player during the incident phase. If several players activate the same propagation symbol during the same turn, then this propagation does not impact those who have activated it and impacts the other players only once. Astronaut Action The astronaut action allows you to modify the value of the number of the chosen combination before you write it down, minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. Moreover, Cross off one astronaut symbol at the top of your sheet. Whenever you have two crossed off astronauts, circle a wild action symbol. Planning action. The planning action allows you to fill in a housing space with an X in addition to the number of your combination. Moreover, cross off one planning symbol at the top of your sheet. Whenever you have two crossed off planning, circle a wild action symbol. Note that you cannot circle a planning symbol without writing down an X in the housing space. Wild Action You can use a circled wild action symbol whenever you want. To use it, cross it off, then use any of the six possible actions instead of the one from your number action combination. Number and type of propagation First of all, you must determine the number and type of propagation of the active viruses that you must trigger. For each virus that has been activated during the turn, 
Every player must trigger a propagation of all active viruses. Therefore, if two viruses have been activated during this turn, you must trigger a first propagation for all active viruses, then carry on with a second propagation. If a propagation symbol has been triggered with a plant or water action, a propagation is triggered for all players but those who have triggered it. If you have crossed off the second and third system error box, you must trigger a propagation only on your sheet. Trigger one propagation. On your sheet, each active virus spreads, one by one, in the following order, from left to right, starting from the top floor, then going down floor by floor. A virus spreads by infecting a housing space in the quarter where it is active. Cross off one empty housing space of your choice in this quarter. If the quarter is complete, with all its housing spaces numbered or crossed off, then the virus spreads to all the neighboring quarters directly connected to that quarter by a walkway. You must then cross off one housing space of your choice in each of these quarters. However, the virus does not spread in a neighboring quarter if the walkway is closed. Likewise, the virus does not spread into a complete neighboring quarter and does not spread further on. Evacuation of the complete quarters. The quarter is complete when all its housing spaces are numbered or infected and crossed off. Then you must immediately score the points of this quarter. For that, multiply the number of numbered housing spaces by the number of circled energies in this quarter. Write down this score in the corresponding space in the scoring area. You do not earn any points with the infected crossed off housing spaces. Finally, circle this evacuated quarter. A quarter can only be evacuated and scored once. Whenever a mission is accomplished for the first time in the game, each player must activate a virus, red, purple or yellow, shown on the mission, by circling on their sheet the corresponding virus targets. Each player must also cross off the activation symbol of this virus in the scoring mission area, because each virus can only be activated once. Whenever a virus is activated, a propagation of all active viruses must be triggered for everyone. For that purpose, carry out the incident phase again. The three end conditions from the standard rules apply. Note that the game will end if all your housing spaces are filled with a number or an X or crossed off due to an infection. At the end of the game, in addition to points earned for accomplished missions and penalty points lost for system errors, tally up your points in each scoring area as follows. Plants and water. Score the points of the lowest visible scoring box. Evacuated quarters. Evacuate all the remaining incomplete quarters and score their points on your sheet. Multiply the number of numbered housing spaces by the number of circled energies. Then add up the points of all your quarters. Infected housing spaces. You lose one point for each infected crossed off housing space.